Hello students, in today's video we shall learn how to plot a point. In chapter 3, coordinate geometry, you need to plot points. So I'll show you how to plot a point easily. This is called a graph paper where you have these dark colored lines and light colored lines. This is used for graphing. So first what we will do is we will draw a horizontal line. Take a ruler and draw a horizontal line. Label this as X. Put an arrow first. X and the left hand side. X dash. So this is your horizontal line or the X axis. And now we will draw the Y axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Mark a point here. Draw a vertical line. Put an arrow mark here. This is your Y and this side is your Y dash. So this is your horizontal line. This is your vertical line. X axis, Y axis. This is the origin. So we will mark this as 0. And I am using a pen because the color will come darker. But then you use pencil when you are graphing it. Always use a pencil when you are plotting a point or graphing. So this is 0. On the right hand side, this is 1, 2 at equal spaces. I am doing at equal spaces. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have space till 8. I am doing till 8. The left hand side, you will have all the negative integers. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. This is on your x-axis. For the y-axis, this is the positive side. This is the negative side. So, equal spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. I have taken only till 8. Again, down below, I will take till a negative 8, minus 8. So, minus 1. Minus 2. You have learned about this in your earlier grades, but maybe you have not used the graph paper. Minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. This is what we need for plotting a point. Let's say there is a point 3, 5. Let's say there is a point 3, 5. D is for the x axis and 5 is for the y axis. So from the origin, you move 3 units to the right. 1, 2, 3. And then 5 units up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This point is 3, 5. Drop a perpendicular from here. You will see this is falling at 3. And here it's 5. So 3, 5. Let's say I want to plot 5, 0. So 5 is on the x axis and 0 is on the y axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, x axis towards the positive side and 0. That means y axis is 0. So this is the point. 5, 0. Use always a pencil. I am using a pen so that you can see it properly. Okay. If it is 0, 5, x is 0, y is 5. So 0 and then 5 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This point here is 0, 5. Minus 1, minus 2. Minus 1, minus 2. So now we will move to the left because that's a negative number. So 0, minus 1 and then 2 units down. 1, 2. So this point here is minus 1, minus 2. If you draw a line straight up, you will see it's falling on minus 1. And right, you will see minus 2. Also remember, this is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. So it is divided into 4 quadrants. Here, you will always find positive numbers. Because this is positive side and this is also positive side. So you will find always positive numbers. Let me write here. Positive, positive. 
here the x values are all negative and y values are all positive in this quadrant so you will get a negative number first and a positive second third quadrant all minus sign here also all minus sign so x is also minus and y is also minus and the fourth quadrant positive negative so positive negative this will help you to easily find out which quadrant your points are i hope this is clear to all see you in the next video